first or second time I fell, um, I fell on the back porch. And I walked forward and I, I don't know what happened. And the next thing I knew, I was eating dirt. But I'd be driving this way. And it's just, it, it's very scary. But I've used to, ha used to have, before I got sick, I used to have real low blood pressure. My mom used to tell me, you know, I don't see how you get out of bed. I thought they were with my Parkinson's disease because all of a sudden I'd get real lightheaded. I laid down and it got real high, like 179 over 115. Mine went down, so mine would get real high and then it would just drop. And I got diagnosed in 08 and they diagnosed this in OH in 010. So I, I may have had it before and didn't realize what I had. See, I've, I've always been so used to having low blood pressure, which, it, you know, I probably wouldn't just associated all this new symptoms with my Parkinson's disease. What I've read about it, it doesn't mention blood pressure, it mentions fatigue. And, uh, and you know, stuff, you know, slurring of words and this, that, and other. So I just figured the dizzy spells were part of the symptoms. Well, I have horses and I used to ride all the time. I still have my horses and I can still ride, but I can't get all by myself anymore. I used to ride just about every single weekend. And so that I've ridden three times this year. I swim, I join the Y. When I swim, I even in the hot tub, I don't get dizzy. It's better, it's not 100%, you know, but it's about 80%. And I sleep better. You get smart when you get this disease. I get lightheaded sometimes, and I do it every once while I'm driving. And when I first got diagnosed in, uh, in 08, I can't remember if I had the dizzy spell. I don't think I, I don't think I did. If I didn't have this disease, I'd probably still have low blood pressure. When I get real tired, I just lay down and rest a while. I still have some fatigue, you know that that's real bothersome. But that's probably a lot of time associated with Parkinson's because of the, my muscles, you know, contractions and stuff like that.